join us, and I will warn you to him. You will find a pamphlet behind the pew. And it's in page three of your hymn notes.
morning, Pastor Dunham, Minister the Pulpit, Wedding Congregation. These are our morning announcements. Today is our pastor's 19th anniversary, as well as celebrating Sister Kathy's birthday. Again, I know Sister Quinn did the welcome, but we want to welcome you all, and we thank you from the Second Baptist family. And I want to give a huge thanks to the Second Baptist family and for the guests that are here today. Thank you for coming out to celebrate and worshiping the Second Baptist and celebrating our pastor's 19th anniversary. We want to encourage everyone to praise the Lord and bless his name. Yes, he is. Mighty, mighty, mighty good. We do have our mini ministries here at Second. We still have our feeding ministry, which is Monday through Friday from 11 to 1. Members, we are all aware that if we're unable to do our time and day, please get in contact with the deacons. If you are aware who the deacons are, please get in contact with our pastor or one of the members and we can point them out. We ask that you get in contact with them at least two days in advance to have those days and times filled. We still have Addicted to Christ, Wednesdays and Fridays at 9.30. Uh, we still have our women's mission every fourth Thursday of the month at 6 o'clock. We have our Deaconess every other third Saturday of the month at 12. Uh, we do have our women's prayer, but that's on standstill for our pastor to give us further direction. We encourage everyone to, all the young women, to be a part of those women's uh, ministries. And if, if there's any ministry that you want to be a part of, you can get in contact with the presidents of that department. We also want to pray for all the members that desire to be here today that were unable to make it. We want to pray for the homeless, the sick in, and the bereaved family. We also do have Bible study on Sundays, but I believe tonight we're not having Bible study. We do have a Bible study on Wednesday, unless further directed from our pastor. We do have Sunday school. 9.30 on Wednesday, on Sunday, and then worship follows. Again, we have no other announcements at this time. Once we get into announcements, we will give them according to um, directed. But again, back in the pulpit, so please feel free to enjoy yourself and worship the Lord freely. Amen. Amen. It's good to see the Moreno's family. God bless you. Amen. Think of Moreno's family. Amen. It's all good. Good to see you. Amen. Ain't God all right? All right. We've been to worship some more. Come on with what my pastor means to me. I think you know it's Brother Andy Turner. Come on. Come on, Brother Turner. Amen. What my pastor means to me.
me. He picked me up, turned me around, placed my feet on solid ground. You, you just don't know, like I know, what the Lord has done for me. Does anybody got that testimony? You don't know?
Amen. Pray for his sister, Carla. Amen. Sister Wynn.
the one that is holding the word, the one that will share the word of God with us, Lord. I pray right now, Lord, that you have your perfect will and your perfect way with him, Lord. Use him like only you can, Master. And we promise, Lord, we give you all the praise. We give you all the honor that only you deserve. Thank you, Lord, for this another chance, another opportunity to worship me. We love you. We thank you. In Jesus' name, we have prayed.
Christ. Ministry of this church. Of any other church. That stands in the name of Christ. How can one preach except he's been sent? And how can he preach unless he's been called? Yeah. Yeah. Well, we do have a called out preacher. So we do have a sent pastor. Amen. By the name of Reverend Dr. Anthony Dunham, all the way from Seaside, California. Friendship Baptist, Friendship Baptist Church. Let's receive this preacher, this pastor, this watchman. Let's receive by saying, Amen. Amen. Impressed with his resume. Amen. 
we are in awe of his awesomeness. Here's a great man, one who is dedicated to the call of the, of the gospel. Ronnie was called when we was, he was just 18. I was still running the street club huh? at 19. And me and Bert But God used this young man. And I thank God for you. I have a, a, a short message today. Bert, glad to see you, man. Ain't seen you in a while, Bert. Glad to see you, man. You and your lovely wife, and we've been praying with you. Pray for you in your situation. Amen. Amen. From the book of James. All right. I'm not going to be before you long. If you help me. If you don't want to help me, I might have to explain myself. <laughs> Many ways I'm like my daddy. I talk real slow. If you don't help me. Do is 
start drinking, boys, and then shooting dope. It's enough to cause the pastor to throw up on his hand. Just throw in the child. What they for you do? Talk to break. I'm here to tell you that you can make it through every trial and every tribulation if you only see God's plan. Especially in bad times. For in here, in the word of God, we find God's method for preventing ministry madness. Don't tap out. Count it all. Count it all. These are the words of our writer, James. James picks up his pen with paper words which seem oxymoronic. Joy in the midst of tribulation. James writes to Jewish believers who live outside of Palestine because of the extreme persecution that plagued believers. James said, let all your troubles and trials that you experience have their perfect work in strengthening your patience. James, in essence, is really saying, stop being a wimp. Stop whining. Stop complaining. Close up the complaint box. Pick up your spiritual calculator and count it. If you don't say it, you ain't. 
to your house and God intercede in the midst of it. Can't nobody do that but God. Can't nobody take my wife from a hospital bed that can't even speak. Can't even walk. Can't nobody but God. Make her get up out the bed. Make her voice begin to talk. Make her legs and feet begin to walk again. Nobody. Nobody. Nobody but the Lord. But the problem is, the real problematic situation is this. If you are not a part of the true and living God, there's an absence of joy. I heard him talking about the crash. And, and when the crash happened, a lot of people that did not know Jesus killed themselves. They couldn't handle it. Some of us ought to be shouting that God allowed us to go through some struggle. Some folk can't go through what you go through. That's because you're a child of the Most High God. Somebody here today, somebody here today needs to know Jesus for themselves. For there are many gods, but there's only one true and living God. And we want to invite you right now. If you're here, you don't know Jesus. In the part of your sin, today is your day to count it all joy. To show them a joy to be a child of the most high God. If you're here, you don't know him. Step out in the house. Let's come down. And if you are a believer, and you've been complaining, then it's time for you to come down and give God the praise for the trouble you're going through. Because there's a reason behind it. Just come on down. Whoever you are, just come on. Step out now. Come on down. And let's talk to the Lord about it. Amen. It's your moment right now to talk to Jesus about it. Casting all your cares upon him. Casting all, not trouble, but casting all of them upon him. You ought to come on. You ought to come on. And talk to the Lord.
I have to obey the law of witness. You ask if you don't mind, let's bring all the youth before we take a law for you. All the youth, would you please stand? Because you're going through some things you won't have to count it all joyful. All the youth, would you please stand? There's some things you have to face in life that you're going to have to count it all joy and trust God as you're growing up in Christ. Can I say it again? you, you got to learn to count it all joy. Young folks, it's hard. Yeah. As you're going through this life, you're seeing loved ones and friends dying. Yeah. Yeah. Family dying. It's rough on them. What do you do? The pastor gave you an answer. Count it all joy. We're going to pray to the Lord to give you strength. Yeah. They give you trust. So Father, we thank you for these young people. Yes, young as well as them. We ask you, Lord, you keep them and preserve them, Lord. And use them for your glory. Yeah. That no matter what they're going through, count it all joy. Help them, Lord, and keep their faith in your Lord. In Jesus' name, and all the body of Christ says, Amen. At this time, it is offering time. Amen. It's offering time. Consecrated quotas and tithes. Amen. Thank you. Amen. Consecrated quotas and tithes. Those of you that have your consecrated gifts, just get them ready. We're going to pray before we get. Is that all right? Father, we ask you, Lord, that you bless the consecrated Lord as well as the tithers. Bless them and use them for your glory. We thank you for the necessity, the necessity of the ministry to be in man, whereby we can carry out your word, carry out the needs of this ministry in Jesus' name. And the church says, Amen. Amen. Come on, if you will. Usher, you're in charge. Left, would you please? 
our more presentations and auxiliaries at this time. Is there any presentations at this time? From any auxiliaries? Come on, Sister Loretta Spence. Well, I'm trying to help 
<laughs> you know, we have pastors over there and pastors over there. But only one man of God that he put in my life and my wife and my children's lives. And so if I can say nothing else, I want to say thank you, Pastor Tom, for standing on God's word. Amen. In the midst of all the yes, trials and tribulations, almost going to jail with him because he talked to me. <laughs>
that have accepted and came to see and talk to their pastor. I'm privileged to be able to go. And, and that's not when I'm doing good. I can go to them when I'm doing bad. I ain't got to hide and run from my pastor. Because I know who I am and I know who I'm not. And I just thank God for allowing me to be under his leadership. Keep preaching, Pastor. Whatever it is, keep preaching. I might don't have much, but I'm learning by the grace of God through the leadership of you. Me and my family, we really appreciate you. God bless you, man.
We had planned for three days or two days, Friday, Sunday evening. But God said, yes, Sunday. That's enough. I want to say to the family and to the church, I stand here privileged to be assigned as your pastor. I'm just elated over those who God assigned to me. Because everybody ain't assigned to me that's here. But I thank God for those who he entrusted under my watch. I thank God. Second, we love you. Thank you for everything you're doing for me and my family. All the cards, all the thank you. Amen. But you know, by all means and according to the natural record, I wasn't supposed to be here. But God, he privileged me to be here. For no good reason. But he privileged me to stand before you. And I got a testimony. Because I got a reason. Come on, preacher. To praise the Lord.
Ronnie, special to me. Come on, Bridget. Hey, man, I was a little kid. I, I'd get in the crib to fight him. Yeah. 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 And he wouldn't learn. Ronnie didn't give up on him. Come on, sir. Ronnie, Ronnie, Ronnie wouldn't let go of his twin. Church say. 